Hello, and welcome to Turner Christian Church's family Christmas service. This year, people are doing Christmas Eve a lot of different ways, and the purpose of this service is to give you something you can fit into your family worship of Christmas. So we're going to sing a couple of songs, we're going to hear the Christmas story, we're going to pray, and we're going to offer this as part of how you and your family celebrate Christmas at home. So thank you for being a part of this with us, and we're going to open now in prayer. Dear Father, we thank you for this day and for what it represents, for the joy of knowing that you sent your Son to live among us. Father, we thank you for the opportunity that we have to celebrate Christmas together, and we pray that through everything we do as a part of this Christmas celebration, that it would bring honor and glory to you, and it would show how grateful grateful we are for the gift you have given us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's begin with a song. those days, Caesar Augustus declared that everyone throughout the empire should be enrolled in the tax lists. This first enrollment occurred when Quirinius governed Syria. Everyone went to their own cities to be enrolled. Since Joseph belonged to David's house and family line, he went up from the city of Nazareth in Galilee to David's city, called Bethlehem, in Judea. He went to be enrolled together with Mary, who was promised to him in marriage and who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to her firstborn child, a son, wrapped him snugly, and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the guest room. Nearby shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their their sheep at night. The Lord's angel stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said, Don't be afraid. Look, I bring good news to you, wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great assembly of heavenly forces was with the angel praising God. They said, Glory to God in heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go right now to Bethlehem and see what's happened. Let's confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. They went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw this, they reported what they had been told about this child. Everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds told them. Mary committed these things to memory and considered them carefully. The shepherds returned home, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Everything happened just as they had been told.
As your family joins together to celebrate Christmas, I don't know what that looks like for you, whether you're doing this on Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, whether it involves stockings, gifts, whatever your celebration looks like, I would encourage you to remember something, that in all the distractions that we have of the gifts that we receive and the gifts that we give, that that is a part of our celebration to remind us that we have already received the most important, the most valuable, the most precious gift that we ever could receive, and that is Jesus Christ, the creator of the universe, become a human being, a baby in a manger, because he wants you. He wants to know you. He wants to live with you and in you and through you. And that is what all of this is about. So we encourage you in your celebration to remember that theme, to return to that theme. We pray that everything that you do during this celebration will connect you with that most important gift, of Jesus Christ. Let me close this in prayer. Dear Father, we thank you that you are a God of celebration, that you gave your people all kinds of, of festivals and parties to celebrate what you had given them. Father, we thank you that you sent angels to tell the shepherds to rejoice. And we take this opportunity to celebrate and to rejoice the gift that you have given us. Father, we pray that your spirit would guide us in all of our celebration that would all lead us back to you and that because of the memories that we make during this time, we would have a clearer memory of your generosity, of the gift that you gave us. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. From all of us here at Turner Christian Church to those of you and your family who are celebrating together, be healthy, be hopeful, and have a Merry Christmas. Amen.